we are delighted to launch Stallspace 1.10 with some great new features and functionality. This video explains these new features. When using the AutoCAD plugin, Storespace interacts with the store plan you are working on. For instance, if you are using the standard AutoCAD copy command, Storespace automatically removes the Bay ID and Planogram. We've now added the ability to switch off this functionality using the Suspend Storespace command. By clicking on the Suspend button, you can see that all the Storespace commands are switched off temporarily. This enables the user to access an external reference drawing for the building shell or another part of the store, edit it before returning to the store space drawing and re-invoking the toolbar to make the commands live again. The AutoCAD block wizard, released in version 1.9, made it really easy to convert any existing AutoCAD block into a store space fixture. In our new 1.10 release, we have further enhanced this functionality to enable you to create store space fixtures from graphics supplied by designers or shop fitters. On screen, you can see the individual line work representing a gondola. And using the block wizard, we can select any such graphic or line work within AutoCAD and create a store space block from it, name it, and then click for the insertion point and trace around it to define the merchandisable space for the fixture. The wizard prompts for the front of the fixture to be defined, as well as a linear value for it. In this case, it is 1.25 meters. There is also an option to create additional copies of the fixture, not chosen here. We have also enhanced the Add to Library functionality to allow you to create a node within the existing fixture library hierarchy in which to save the new Storespace block. Storespace has always had the ability to add pre-drawn runs of equipment, model stores or areas of a model store to your floor plan as a single click. With version 1.10, we've introduced a new Gondola Builder tool, which enables you to start a single fixture, or back-to-back -back fixtures, as shown here, and stretch it out to any length, either vertically or horizontally. And in this case, I'm only extending the top fixture, clicking once to start the run and once to end it. There is also a handy temporary dimension string to see the length of the run. For clients who have more than one store space environment, we've now made it very easy for you to switch between databases without needing to close store space. Open the information button about store space, click on the word client and as long as you've entered a valid Storespace product key, you will be able to switch between environments. This is typically used by an international retailer who has separate databases for each country, or retailers with several brands in their portfolio. One of the most common things a retail planner does is to replan an area of a store, perhaps for adjacency changes or reflowing an entire aisle. In the 1.10 release of Storespace, we've introduced a shuffle command which enables you to easily select an area within your store plan, as small or as large as you like, and temporarily move all the planograms within that area into a Storespace planning window. It is then very easy to reapply those planograms onto the store plan in a different order. And once the planning window is empty, you know that everything has been successfully replanned. This can also be used for replanning categories and departments as well. A fitting circle within store space enables planners to see how much space is required in front of a fixture without having to continually measure the distance across an aisle. Looking at a store with the fitting circles switched on, you can instantly see areas of clash and where aisle widths are too tight. In Storespace 1.10, we have added a third option that is easily defined as part of your block library. Small, medium and large options can be used for different store formats that have different recommended aisle widths. 
In StoreSpace 1.9, we introduced the ability to overlay database information as text strings. In version 1.10, we've enhanced this feature to be able to add text at different levels, such as department level, category level, and the planogram name if it is available. This can also be used for replanning categories and departments as well. Storespace 1.10 with added functionality for users. If you would like a demonstration, please get in touch.